what's up everyone? This is Phil Ebner with videoschoolonline.com bringing you another great tutorial. This time we're talking about how to use plural eyes and how to perfectly sync your video and audio with plural eyes. So I shoot weddings and sometimes, you know, or all the time, I'm always shooting lots and lots of clips, different multiple cameras, and I'm recording audio separately in the Zoom with the Zoom H4n or other recording devices. So I'll end up with uh, a sequence like this. This is how I basically go about syncing my audio. I choose all the clips that I want to sync and I play, place them down on the timeline. So down here on the bottom I have this GoPro camera as my safety camera. Up top I have my main camera um, which you know I have which is from my Canon 7D. Down here I have my audio from my um, Zoom H4n. Sometimes it was recorded uh, with uh, you know just the lavalier microphone, sometimes it was from the Zoom itself you know with speeches and everything. So Plural Eyes is a godsend. When you install Plural Eyes and then you go you want to use it in Adobe Premiere Pro just go up from to window extensions and then plural eyes. It will ask you if you to save your project before continuing just so that it backs it up. And then after it saves, it will export the XML if it works correctly, it should export the XML to your plural eyes. Uh, so that was weird, that opened up a Final Cut Pro XML thing. But then in Pluralize you go ahead and choose the sequence that you want to sync. So this is, I have multiple sequences because I've already done this. But you just select the sequence that you want to sync and it will load it. Um, and it will read the audio and this may take a while down here. It's a, it will say preparing media. Since I already did this, I hope that it goes quickly. Yeah, so it's gonna go super quickly. It basically reads all the audio and prepares it. And this is the new version of Pluralize. So you can actually see the camera um, and I basically see all the audio in different layers down here. Once it's all prepared, go ahead and click Synchronize. You'll see that it reads it a little bit. And then you can go ahead and play through it to make sure that the audio is synced. The stuff that's green means it's synced. The stuff in red means it's not synced. And basically what, um, you know, that's helpful because then I can see what clips aren't synced. And here's a clip of the bride and groom walking down the aisle that I had in the sync sequence. But I don't really need that to be synced. So it's fine that these, these clips are unsynced. As long as I have the main stuff. So over here I have the speeches. So I have the speeches synced, all five speeches. And that's really all I want. So then you go up to export timeline. And one thing that really helps is if you put your clips down in order in your original sequence. If you have them all mixed up, it's going to be really hard for Pluralize to sync them up. But if you put them in order, then it's going to be totally easy. All right, so then it adds this folder into your um, into your uh, project down here, and uh, basically in that folder is a synced version of your files. So one is where it replaces the audio with the synced audio. So it took the camera audio and basically replaced it with the audio from the recording device. The other, if I can find it, because since I already did this, it already uh, has the synced version. So here's the other version where it set, and it's just called your sequence underscore synced. I renamed it to sync two. And this, it has all the audio and it's just perfectly synced. I went up, went ahead and chopped this up a little bit 
um, and you know removed all the extra footage that I don't need. <laughs> but now this is all completely synced up. I do. And you promise to forsake all others and to be. So I can unmute these be tracks. and faithful to Brianna for so. And you have a perfectly synced sequence. Pluralize is amazing. I highly recommend it. Check out the link down below to purchase Pluralize. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel, Video School Online. Check out videoschoolonline.com and share with your friends. Thanks a lot. Bye.